everybody, what is going on? It's Brian with you from the Game Cabin, and we are playing some more Roller Coaster Tycoon 2. So, we finished our roller coaster. Um, took quite a bit of time, actually. I was just looking at my stopwatch, which apparently I let go. Um, and we finished the last episode at like 30 minutes, and I just stopped the stopwatch at like 52 minutes to restart it. So, we'll probably spend another 20 minutes or so just tweaking it out. Um, so, let's actually go ahead and watch it. I'll actually show you guys. Um, one thing we did is, obviously, we reduced that first drop quite a bit so it doesn't drop as much uh, we ended up adding a photo booth there we ended up adding some water splash and then I just kind of kind of kept going back and forth back and forth and then I have this nice long subtle ending and some breaks there at the end I'm um, just kind of um, smoothed it all out um, all things considered it actually went really well so I'll show you the stats here in just a second I think it came out pretty dang good so um, I'm pretty happy with it uh, da, 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 da. let's actually, you know, if you want to actually watch the train up there, you can watch the train up there. Wee! So we got that nice little jump, a little bit of slow speed there. Um, we ended up crashing the coasters a couple times, um, at one of these drops right here, one of these, um, little hills. Um, because we were going pretty slow. It was about right there. Ended up having to tweak that a little bit. Uh, then this goes up, and it barely makes it up that last hill. Uh, which I like, you know, because it's kind of like, oh no, we're going to die, and then you slow down, and then we just kind of have the brakes slowly slowing you down. Um, and overall, I think it came out quite well. So our excitement rating is 819, which is freaking awesome. Our nausea is a little high, and that's probably because of the negative vertical Gs, but that's okay. Intensity is 9.89. So overall, it's pretty intense, but it's not too extreme. Uh, and I think this is going to be a pretty, pretty, pretty good um, um, park for us. Um, one thing I want to go ahead and start doing, I ended up uh, in between episodes, because my ride started all breaking down, we ended up hiring quite a few um, guys here just to kind of, um, get my park kind of clean and everything like that. Um, so yeah, you know, I forgot to actually spend some time researching this. Uh, I spent all my time actually working on the roller coaster. So, uh, we're probably not going to have that going this episode. So that's fine. Um, but let's actually go ahead and get some of our queue going. Um, once again, I kind of like the idea of, um, taking the queue this way. And I want to kind of keep the queue towards the exit. Although, do I really want them at the same spot? And probably not. Um, let's actually do something here. Let's bring our ride, our, our, th our stuff over here. And then let's kind of go this way with it. And something like that. I think that's going to be pretty good. Um, and then what we also want to do is then get this line going here. Here. Something like this. And then we'll attach it right there there I think is good um, the one thing I've learned or I've read about uh, is we one thing well a we don't have is we don't have bathrooms uh, and that's probably something we need to plop quite a few down um, restroom facilities and we'll probably put that restroom facility right here at the exit the big thing with the restrooms though is uh, it's really the benches is what uh, helps when people get off the coasters and they're too like oh so we're gonna go ahead and plop quite a few of these benches down right here just as you know so people can kind of chill and in fact you know what we might as well do let's go ahead and create a whole seating area although you know what you know what let's cancel this Let's go ahead and demolish this. And I'm actually going to put that slightly different. Let's go ahead and put instead that restroom. We do want to get a bunch of shops and stuff going. Because um, we're... I mean, I don't really care about guests. So I guess in the scheme of things, it's not that big of a deal. Actually, let's put it like this direction. Because what we're going to go ahead and do is... I'm going to, like I said, put a little seating area. So we want you to kind of come this direction. We want this. And we're going to go like this. Is that our seating area? Is that how we want the seating area? I'm thinking something like that is going to be a little bit better. Let's go ahead and open the bathroom back up. And we want our benches. So bench, 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 bench. Now, the thing is, like, that larger seating area, you can't actually really, like, you can't put benches there, but that's fine. Um, we do want to put just, like, random benches all throughout the park. Um... Make our people just a little bit, you know, happier. We also need to get some trash cans going. But once again, we don't have any food, so probably don't need that as much. Uh, pathway there. Something here. And just get, like, benches this whole way. 
I mean, that's really what we need to be get doing. Once again, we still do need to extend this out on the bottom. But for now, we'll just stick with that. And that'll be okay for the time being. Uh, I love this coaster. It's just, like, nice, huge coaster that's like, hey, look at me. I'm a big coaster. Um, and it's like the first thing you see. You walk in the park, and you have this giant coaster to your left. We also got quite a few more... Um, uh, what am I trying to say? We got quite a few more coasters actually unlocked uh, as things went through. Um, are we going to actually theme it? I don't think so. I just, what kind of theming do we have? I'm just thinking. We have the dinosaur theme, but this is only going to work on like something a little lower. I think what we'd really want to do is build something like here, like castle walls. And actually, like, build a castle and stuff like that, which might be really cool. Can we actually put the castle over the wall? What does that look like? So you have to actually do an archway. I've never actually experimented with uh, this theming. So would that actually work? Yeah, see, it looks like it won't actually work over the top of it. Like, over the top of the benches, which is a little on the disappointing side. Um, I'm thinking, actually, though, we are going to do a castle on this. So, let's go ahead and experiment with this a little bit. This seems like it's getting really kind of annoying. Trees in the way. Really? So, freaking delete the trees. Like, come on, game. Uh, demolish. Let's go ahead and just delete all the freaking trees in this area. So, I guess this is going to be Beach Castle. Seems like a fitting name. Um, so, we want to do something like that. Maybe, do we want to, like, go a little taller? Yeah, I kind of actually like that there. Although, technically, can we delete this? Yes, we can. Oh, I actually want to put that one right there. So, smack dab in the middle. Um, and then we're going to continue with the same one over here. And now, how do I actually rotate? Aha! No, we want to actually put it on. So we're going to have to rotate it twice then. Um. Yeah, I'm okay with this. And then we want to rotate it that way. Something like that? And what actually goes on top of the castle? I guess we don't actually do a roof or anything like that. But what we could do is we'll want to raise the ground, I suppose. Uh, I want to actually see through the coasters, please. See through ride tracks. Now... Hide vertical faces, base, see-through, rides. That's what I'm looking for. Um, okay, so we want to take this up quite a bit. And I think we're going to do the metal one, I suppose. Because that's going to look... Apparently not... Hmm. So, not quite sure how this is going to work. Where are we at? So the problem is it's actually deleting what I want it to delete. So let's put let's take this up all the way. And then we're gonna actually put a couple guys up there. Let's go scenery again. Where are we at? Scenery. Maybe a couple flags up here would be nice. And where are the soldiers? I like those guys. Rotate. No, 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 no. I was not done with you. I hate how it, like, disappears. So, although I really should have archers up here, but whatever. Um, yeah, yeah, we should keep just archers up here, right? Delete you guys. 
So we're going to have archers up here. Although, looking at this, uh, I'm thinking we actually need to lower the ground one spot more. I wish it kept the same thing over. That would be really nice. Whoopsie. These guys are a tad too tall. So let's go back to sand. Ugh. And then we want to go to themes. And we need to rotate you guys this way. Yeah, that looks a little more accurate. Um, however, I did like the flag. Dang it. Ugh. So let's rotate the flags this way. And then eh, eh, and put the flag that way. All right. Now let's try getting our walls back up. So we want a wall here. Now the question is, if we rotate the wall here, it's going to be right there. The problem is it's going to create that really weird, awkward corner. Can I use this piece right? Ooh. Ha ha! We're figuring out the game. Now the problem is we're not going to be able to actually put the wall here because that is right there. The queue starts right there. I suppose I suppose we could just delete a couple of the footpaths to make it accurate. So let's kind of go this way with it. And then... Uh, I actually need you right here, please, to get deleted as well. And that should be okay. Um, so then we want to go back to a train, go back to sand. Give you sand and sand. What the heck is on the ground right there? I, I have no idea what that is. What the heck? Oh, it's because my foot passed there. Okay. <laughs> I was highly confused. I'm like, this doesn't seem right right now. And there and there. And that looks pretty freaking good. And then we're going to need to rotate that. Uh, I think it's this way, right? Nope. One more. That way. And then we want our corner piece once again, which is right here. And that'll look good. We have the one corner that's kind of a little broken. But that's okay. Um, the question is... Is there anything around the back side I can do? And I don't think so, because the queue's like right there. So, I think what we're gonna do is put like a couple towers over here. And then maybe like another tower over here, if I can fix it. Oh, because of the freaking trees. Ah, come on game. So, put another tower here. And then, add like, I like the idea of the fence. Can we actually put the fence? We can actually put the fence here. So it's like you're actually entering. And the fence just kind of like keeps them from like, whoopsie. Uh, I don't want this. It's like, hey, you're entering a different area. Something like that. I do like these towers. I really do need a drawbridge and stuff like that. I don't know how much we really want to do this. Like, we could get really complex in it, and I. the point is, I don't know if I really want to do that. We might just throw a couple towers around and call it a day. You know, just to add a little bit of flair. And give me more scenery. Give me this tower. And you know what we could do? Be really cool. Put these guys on top of them? No? Will they not go up on top? Ah! <laughs> hey, 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 let's do something. I want to rotate. Can I put him right here? Oh, no. I guess I'll just put him right here. Arr! I'm a giant machine guy. 
Whatever. I think we're going to stop there. I, my favorite thing isn't so much, like, doing little designs like this, which, I mean, I could do, but, like, quite frankly, it's just, like, it's annoying right now. Um, just because it's, like, it's a little on the difficult side, and I suppose you could do some really cool things if you really tried, but, um... What if we did, like, something like that? Just for the heck of it. Just like a wall in the middle of nowhere. But it's kind of like, oh no, we're going to hit the wall. Ah! Yeah, whatever. This will work. Um, That's my restroom. I want my roller coaster. Uh, we're going to call this, I think, Tower. Tower Coaster, because we have so many towers that are actually intermingled inside the coaster. In fact, if we get a couple more in there, that would be really cool. Wait, I had one. Boom. And part of it's we have all these trees, so, yeah. Alright, so did our excitement go up at all? 833, I think it went up like a couple points. Nothing major. So, that is, for now, where we're going to stop with that stuff. We may go back and probably flesh it out a little bit later. Um, I'm not too concerned about it. One thing I actually do want to do is I want to start building some water rides. Um, we do have quite a few water rides actually available. Um, I also do really want to start making... Eh, we have 228. I'm not too concerned about... It. Like, is everything... Are our rides, like, charged? I don't even know how this works right now. We're... Or does it show money? I'm thinking they're not charged. Because, yeah, there's no money tab on any of these. So it must just be the thing. So that's okay. So we could do flying boat ride. We could do water car roller coaster that allows twisting curves and steep drops splashing down in sections of water. I kind of want to do a log flume. How's a splash mine look? I just want to see what this looks like. We're going to build our own. Yeah, that's kind of minor. I am going to build a custom design because I like making my own coasters. So where do we want to start with this thing? Um, I do like the idea of doing it. We'll call it like the beach one or something. And we're just going to start. Yeah, the problem is, once again, where are we going to put our entrances? We could put the entrances on the other side. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. We could also just start it like right next to the pathway. Which is always kind of cool. Yeah, let's actually do that. Start right next to the pathway. Ah, uh, but I can't because of that. Yeah. Something like that. I like people being able to actually see it before they get there. Um, we've got a reversible turntable. What does that do? What the heck does that do? Oh, it like spins them around or something is what it looks like? Huh. So we're gonna go up. And then we're gonna curve this around. I think I might do the exact same thing I did in the last one. Just kind of go straight. And then... Well, I actually do want to splash over the people, so maybe we should actually take this the other direction. I was going to take it over this and then drop down over the water, but it actually would rather drop down over the people. So, uh, once again, we're going to straight, down, down, straight, curve, curve. And then we could curve again. And then what happens here? No, we can't. Okay. We have to actually go straight on one section, but that's fine. So we'll go straight there, and then we're going to go back up. Too high for supports. Oh. Well, that sucks. I guess it makes sense. Ah, so then what are we going to do? Let's go straight. Straight. Too high for supports. Ah, okay. So the problem is because of this water, because the water stops... But we can still actually go up higher here. Nope, nope, we can't. What about now? Now we can go up higher. Douche. And then... Whoopsie, 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 whoopsie. Straight. Then curve. And how are we going to do this? What would be the best way to do this? I think just the straight drop... And then, and they'll splash everyone right there. And we're going to go 
no, no, no. It's like always hit the wrong button. There we go. Then we're going to go back up. Curve it around. Dun, dun, dun. I think this slows them down like right away, doesn't it? And then let's just go straight back down again. And then we'll do all the splashing and then we'll go around here. Curve it, curve it. We got beef noodle stall. All right. <laughs> I thought I was going to say beer stand. I was like, yeah, thank you. I kind of like this. Kind of. I'm not like a huge fan of it, but I think it's not terrible. I don't know. We'll have to test it, see what it looks like. Can I actually get underneath here? I can. That's what I was hoping for. So we need to go straight, and I think that's it. All right, and so then we want our entrance over here and our exit over here. How are we going to actually get it over? We're going to have some issues actually getting the exit around. Whatever. Uh, actually, I want to test you, please. Test. And what kind of different log flumes? It looks like we can only do log flumes. 31 boats. Holy crap. <laughs> wow. That might be a bit on the much side. The thing I don't remember is, if it goes down, does it immediately stop as soon as it gets there? I think it like immediately goes to zero. Like It's almost like a braking. Ah, so it's almost just like, okay, so you don't really get much speed on it ever. Okay. It's almost more like a leisurely ride. So in that case, I think we're going to go redo this. And I'm going to, once again, instead of having to extend so much, just kind of keep it here and go back and forth, back and forth. Um, probably do need the 31 boats, though, because <laughs> of how long it is. And then this will be intriguing to see what this looks like. Ooh. That's the big one, which is just kind of fun. I really do need to put the pathway. I need to put it, like, underneath the path. Maybe I should, like, build this path up, go higher, just through that section. What was our total velocity there? We got up to 40 miles an hour. All right. And here comes drop number two. Whee! It's actually a nice long ride. And that should splash quite a few people. And we splash again over here. Get the nice curve. This actually might just be a little too long. <laughs> Which is irony. I actually made a ride that was too long. I usually find my rides too short. And then we and then we go floating over the ocean. Alright, let's speed this up. <laughs> I'm like sitting here waiting, like, come on, go faster. Oh wait. We just need to speed things up. Okay, so excitement's a five. Intensity's a two. That's a really good intent excitement, though. Um, Do I really want to redo this, though? Yeah, screw it. Let's just open it. <laughs> uh, I mean, I was going to make it prettier, but in the scheme of things, it's like, eh, eh. I mean, it has a really good excitement rating, so... And you know what we need to do? Oh, see. Let's go up. And then the bridge is kind of going to go over here. You know what? I think I'm going to actually adjust this, too. Whoopsie. Now, I want straight one more. Okay, now let's go this way. Sorry, I was thinking for a second. Um... Go here, and then we'll go down, down. Boom. All right, let's actually just adjust this ever so slightly here in just one second. Oh, I don't want to go too far because we're going to take the log plume back out a little bit. Can I actually just delete? That's kind of funny. You can delete all the supports, which doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Whatever. We'll take it. 
It's floating, my man. Uh, how are we going to actually do this? We're going to have to go this way, this way, this way. And then here. And then we're going to go up, up. Okay, and now the people are going to get splashed. I like this. I like this a lot. That's kind of cool. Okay, let's actually stop the log flume. I want to edit this, and I just want to edit the ending just a little bit. So right there. And actually, you know what? We can keep all that the same. I don't care about any... Whoopsie. I don't care about any of that. This is all going to be the same starting from, like, right there, I think. So I want to do two things just really quickly. Um, let's go a little bit higher. I don't know. That might be too high. Yeah, that's going to be too high. So I got to go down one more. So straight in here, then down. And just get a little splashing go in there. And then we're going to go up high, actually. Jink. Yeah, we're going to have to go down one more. because this. Actually, no, F that. We have terrain tools. So let's just raise the terrain here. Uh, and let's actually do it the proper way. There we go. Crap! I did it! I effed it up, guys. Every time. Oh, my God. <laughs> uh, always do water with, like, six. Or at least. Okay, so now we're going to curve this around. Curve it around. Drop it down. And that should splash people, right? The question is, do I need to go over them? Or is it better to do it like this? Where it's over the top of them and splashes them that way. I think it would be better to do it that way. In which case, let's go straight, straight, straight. Straight, down. Too high for supports. I'm going down, dang it. What do we get? Merry go round broken down. Eh, yeah, whatever. Okay. Uh, we can't go that there, Doom. So we need this here. So I need to go all the way back to the end. And you know how I said we weren't going to have to actually adjust it? I lied. We do have a lot of straightaways right there, so this shouldn't be a problem. Unfortunately, it's a bit of a long ride. So it's actually going to splash them. It's going to do another nice little drop. That should be pretty good. I like this, actually. Ah, go. We're so close. Come on. All right. Duh. No, no, no. No, no, no. Let's, let's do it this way. And so what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to actually connect it back. So we got that there. Sounds good. Um, we want to come this way. So everything's in the opposite direction. So we need to go up. Uh, we can't do that. We're going to have to go straight here, up. Maybe we have to just keep going up. Yeah, we might have to actually do that. <laughs> well, that's kind of frustrating. Oh, well. Go straight. Curve it one more. And then let's go down with it. Uh, this way. This freaking log flume is going to be the longest thing ever. <laughs> that way. Curve it. And now we should be okay to go down, please. And we're at 55 feet, it says? Really? Seems a little off. Yeah. That doesn't seem... No, we're at 45. Okay, so we can't build here because of the coaster, I'm assuming. Yeah, because the other log flume's in the way. So this should be at 45. Unfortunately, we can't do that. So I think we're going to have to go down to 40. And then that curves back up, but it won't actually let me curve that up. Uh, okay. Why? 
Because the foot pass in the way. How are we going to do this? How are we going to do this? There we go. There we go, guys. <laughs> uh, maybe we'll just take it under the footpath, which might be really kind of cool. Unfortunately, we're still one off. Oh, you know what we never did? The reverse turntable. So we're going to go straight here, then curve. And unfortunately, then we'll do like the reverse turntable because I don't know what that's going to do. Something like that. Oh, we can't go that far. So like that. Now we need to go a little further than that. And then we need to go up. Oh, we made it, guys. Um, the other thing we're going to do is let's go back here a little bit where we have, like, these long straightaways. And let's, like, delete that. And let's put a reverse in here. And then where's the big drop? This is up, up. The big drop's over there. So let's take a photo over there. But I think, whoopsie. What? I want the reverse thing here. I do want to put, like, a couple more. Just little tweaks. So, is there anywhere we're going straight for a while? Right here, we can delete that. Let's put a reverser in here. The bends, I don't care so much about. The bends are fine. And... Um, how are we going to do this, then? Let's let's go up here. I'm gonna delete that, delete that, delete that. And let's here go. I wanna bend to the left. And we're at 75, so I need to go up one more. Now, so we're gonna have to go here. Straight here. And see, now that's right at it. Ugh. All these little changes are freaking messing me up. No, we're not going to be able to do that. Have to go straight. Now let's curve that. Let's go straight. Let's do reverse turntable. Then go in. Boom. Go up. Sh no, I said up. Go up. And this should be it now. Um, let's do a reverser. Let's do a on-ride photo. Too high for supports. <sighs> Boom. Sounds good. All right, let's test it one more time. And then I think we're going to call this an episode. So let's actually go, like, fast speed on this. So you go up. We're... Oh. Go around, sounds good, you go up. And then this is kind of cool, just that little, you know, leisurely ride super high in the air. I wanna see what the reverser does. Oh, oh, so now they're going down backwards? Oh no, no, no. So it looks like they're gonna go down backwards, but then it flips them around and then it's like, ah, ha, ha, we got your photos, right? As you thought you're gonna go down backwards. And then it's like, ah, boosh, splash. And then they go up and around, and then they go up again, and then down, and they just kind of skip that reverser. They go too fast for it. And then they go up. Oh, and then they're going to go down backwards on this one. That's pretty freaking awesome, actually. I'm very much a fan of this. Weesh. And then they go around, and then on this round, then they flip back around before they get to the end. Okay, I'm actually loving this. <laughs> it's a really cool log flume. How many How many actually car boats? 31 again? I wonder if that's the max. Our excitement's actually way down. We were at like 7 or 8, weren't we, before? Huh. Is there a way for me to actually track excitement? I wonder why. Whatever. I think that's more than accurate. So, I mean, it's fine. 
I'm wondering why, though. The only thing I wonder is why we lost so much. Maybe going backwards just is, like, not as fun. Maybe it's too long? I mean, that could be something, too. The ride time's four minutes. You know. Whatever. We're going to wrap the episode up here. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. Go ahead and give me a comment. Let me know what you guys think. And hit that subscribe button. Show your support. Join the game comment. I'll see you guys next episode. Bye.